This is a demonstration of Alarion's AL5000 Worldwide Wireless USB chipset. The chipset is based on the Y Media Common Radio platform, which is based on the ultra wideband radio that uh, we've been working on for several years. The demonstration I'm going to do for you today is really to illustrate two main points. First, this is going to be a demonstration of band group 6 and the upper band groups from the Y Media spectrum. Why is this important? Well, the upper band groups and above 6 gigahertz are the only band groups that are going to be available to be shipped into any region of the world and meet the regulatory requirements of those specific regions. The second thing I'm going to illustrate for you today is the actual bandwidth and what kind of throughput people can expect to see from a Y Media radio and from an ultra wideband radio. There's been a lot of controversy in the press lately about what data rates are we actually going to see. So today, I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to get. So let's talk about the regulatory items first. Here's a diagram that basically illustrates the Y Media spectrum. As you can see, the ultra wideband Y Media spectrum is broken up into 14 channels or bands. And those 14 channels are broken up into six different what we call band groups. This is important because as you'll see, the initial products, or as, as we know, the initial products from Y Media have all been in band group one. And those products are only legal in the United States right now. The United States allows the entire spectrum to be used. But as you can see from the diagram, the rest of the world basically does not have that same allowance. The key for this chart is fairly simple. Green is good, red is bad, and yellow is kind of a so-so situation in, in which where things are going to be actually changing. Taking a look at this particular spectrum, what we can see is above 6 gigahertz, there's really only a couple band groups available, and there's only one band group, band group 6, that is available in all regions of the world as legal spectrum. You can also see one single channel is available in band group 3. The problem with having a single channel available is that if you're in a place that's got a lot of different devices working at the same time, such as a cube farm or in an apartment complex, all of those devices are going to have to actually share that bandwidth, which means all of them are going to get less of the bandwidth than they'd actually like. So with that, why don't we go ahead and move on to the demonstration. On the table here, I have two laptops. These laptops are off-the-shelf laptops. Both of them are running the Alarion radio evaluation tool. This is a tool that we give to our customers to allow them to actually play with the data rate, play with the band groups, and play with other characteristics of the radio to see what kind of performance they're going to get. On each of these computers, I'm going to go ahead and plug in an AL5604, which is a wireless USB adapter using the AL5000 series that can provide worldwide wireless connectivity. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the transmit side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug the adapter in and go ahead and get this side set up first. And what I basically have to do is put this into a transmit mode. As I stated, the band group that we're going to be looking at is band group 6. I'm going to go ahead and use TFC number 5. Uh, data rate, let's go ahead and start at 200 megabits first. And there's a few other parameters I just need to set up to make sure that this runs over and over again. And now this side is all set. That's the transmit side. So let's move over and do the same thing with the receive side. I have to go ahead and insert the adapter. Go ahead and load the phi scripts, and then bring up the receive throughput test, which has a nice graph here that we're going to look at in a minute. Again, we're receiving in band group 6, TFC number 5. I'm going to change the interval here a little bit so we can see this a little better. And I'm going to go ahead and start receiving. So right now, I'm in a receive mode. Let's go over here and hit the transmit button. Once I hit the transmit button, what you'll see on the graph behind me is at 200 megabits per second, running at about a meter. I guess I didn't measure this out completely, but it's running at about three feet. What you're seeing is approximately 175 megabits worth of throughput. Now, the throughput that we're talking about here is being measured at the top of the Mac. So this is what we would call Y media throughput. Now, let's see what happens if I go ahead and change the data rate and bring it to 320 megabits a second. I go over here, actively change the data rate, which of course is programmable. Start that test, and what you see is a major league jump on this side. So at 320 megabits per second, we're getting a 250, 260 megabits per second throughput. Again, this is band group 6, TFC5, running at about a meter at 320 megabits. You're seeing Y-media performance in excess of 250 megabits a second.